This is Hogel Zoo. Uh, must be not too much after her second, Annette's second birthday. They look pretty close to the same age there. There's Leslie. Dad, mom, dad, Leslie, or Annette and Kenny, excuse me. Uh, we usually go to the zoo once a year anyway, see the different things. Uh, it was kind of a fun activity. I, I, I don't remember who would always go with it. It seems like it was just us, and maybe Aunt Jean and uh, Uncle Bill would go. Usually have some type of picnic lunch that we pack into there and uh, just kind of spend the day. Bears, obviously, polar bears, they had them there for the longest time and I think they died and they've replaced them again, but uh, we must have liked them because we took a lot of pictures of them, close-ups and everything else. I remember they would sit up and kind of wave their hand and people would throw them bread. At that time, you was able to throw some food into them anymore, they don't let you, but uh, say we'll throw uh, slices of bread and so forth. Uh, I must have been in high school just before, yeah, this was just before I met Kitty, 1964, obviously. Uh, boring just looking at the bears, huh? I mean, we must have liked them, whoever's filming this must have liked them, they're big fat old polar bears. They've uh, changed that whole zoo since this time. There's Dad. There's uh, Lee. That was uh, uh, cousin. There's Mom. Uh, myself again. Smiley face talking to the camera, whatever I'm saying. Uh, Dad with his glasses. And Nat sitting there next to Mom. There was a picnic area back by those uh, polar bear areas somewhere, I don't know. It's been so long. Just pictures of anybody that was passing by in kind of the scheme of the zoo there. Nothing exciting. It's normal stuff that uh, kind of fun to see uh, how the zoo used to be compared to the way it is now. That looks puzzling me. I don't know. I'm not sure who's filming all this stuff. There's Leslie. Net waving. <laughs> she always there comes Kenny running, skinny Kenny, always running. I think they're buying tickets to something, some ride, some place they were gonna go. Peacocks, somebody who ever filmed this like the peacocks, I guess. Remember that train that would go around? Yeah, wander right on so bad. I don't know if Kenny was on there or not. I don't know if he got on it or not. Sometimes he was afraid of these rides and didn't want anything to do with them. It doesn't look like it. It looked like it was just Leslie and Annette. Yeah, they had a fun time, though. There she is back at uh, home. Uh, this has got to be on Glorietta Drive again, so it's, it's got to be around two years old. What she's doing, she's she's got a little knife, and Dad would always dig up dandelions, and I think that's what she's trying to imitate, is digging up dandelions, I believe. I can't believe we give her a knife, or somebody give her a knife to run around with, though. <laughs> Seems strange. But that's what Dad would do. He'd go out and uh, dig up dandelions, wash them, and eat the greens and the salads. They were okay. It's all good. I don't know where that hat came from. It's uh, very interesting. There's somebody's shadow whoever's taking the pictures. Yeah. Christmas time somewhere in there. It's just a flash of Christmas, it looked like. There's the backyard on Glorietta Drive again. There's Kenny. Always had a coat on. I don't even know if it was cold when this was going on. It looks like leaves are off the tree, so it must have still been... Uh, winter, maybe it was uh, Christmas, I'm not sure, but he'd wear a coat whether it was warm or hot or cold or whatever. He always had some type of coat or sweater on a skinny little kid. The uh, neighbors who ever put up a block wall over the top of that chain or by the side of that, there's Grandma War. And there's kind of fun pictures. It's been a long time. I wish she'd turn around and wave. I guess it must be cold because she's bringing Annette a coat out to take care of. She'd always take care of us, always cared, always a loving grandma.